Hello. So something a bit different today. So thank you very much for all the likes and subscribes. And if you're not already subscribed, please do so. So today I'm actually out in the landscape, as you can see. And this is the location of what I'm calling uh, my side of town, which is a group of works about this uh, valley, this wonderful valley um, and the surrounding scenery. So I have been uh, looking at over the year, last year or so, I've been looking at the uh, moorland and uh, the woodland and the valleys in between and this landscape behind me kind of encapsulates all of that really so I'm going to just do a little rotation so you can see and you'll see some of the landmarks when I start sharing with you um, the work that I'm going to be sharing today so I'm going to just rotate it round it's very quite early in the morning here so the mist is still on the moors that are behind that you can see and the hills and uh, the brightness is because the sun is coming up in that direction so as we go round you'll see in the very distance and at the tops the the moors they're not in flower yet and then behind me now the limey green that is in the more of the foreground it's this wonderful bank of rhododendrons which tumbles down the valley and you can walk into that valley and then as i further round you'll see um there's dog walkers and so on and that um building there is like a farm building and then all the way round and in the distance and it's all misty so you can't see anything is uh, Manchester so hopefully you get a real sort of sense of this landscape uh, which is rather uh, dramatic and uh, what I'm going to do in a minute is I'm going to turn the camera around and share with you uh, a Constantina that I've been doing. Um, I haven't, I'm, I'm going to just show you a clip of the Constantina as a pre-prepared Constantina before I work over it. So I've done before on my, um, on my channel, um, a series of videos about the Edgelands and developing a Constantina sketchbook, preparing it with collage and then working over it. So I've done that same approach here so I'm not going to show all of the pre-preparation because it's the same as what I've shown before um, albeit with a different uh, background a bit different setting in mind um, but I am going to show you uh, the completed sketchbook and show you um, the the results really and it's probably fair to say that it's more semi-abstract and so what I've done is I've pre-prepared it with collage in a minute I'll show you that pre-prepared and then um, I'll try and show you and share with you the Constantina in the context of the surrounding landscape here, just so that you can see. So we'll see how that works. And I'll also share with you the uh, materials that I've used here out on location. And because it's so warm here in the summer, um, here, it's just, uh, this week has just been so warm. Um, I've been coming out either really late or in the evenings. And most of the sessions that I've done with the Constantina have been in the, in the morning. Um, but I've also done a couple of sessions in the evening. Um, it does affect uh, the way that you see the, the surrounding hills and uh, moorland and uh, countryside, obviously. And uh, anyway, I'm going to turn the camera around now and uh, get started. OK, so here is the kit that I have uh, for working on location. So you probably don't need anywhere near as much as this, but I just want to share with you what I've got. So I've got my, my backpack bag that you saw me carrying and at the side of it, although I haven't got it out, I've got a drink because, you know, obviously in this weather, you need to make sure that you've got some drink with you. Um, I've just got uh, an envelope with some collage papers in case I'd need it. And there's a Pritt stick in this pot here. Obviously, I've got my Constantina sketchbook uh, with some uh, elastic bands over it, which I, which I not only is holding it together when it's in the bag, but I also use them um, to hold the pages once I'm working on it. And in addition to that, I've also got that you can probably see here, I've got um, a clip and I've got a couple more in the bag, actually. And then uh, I've got a sitting mat because it's a bit damp on the grass at this time of, year, of, uh, of the morning of the day and then I've got two containers one's got some pencils and mark making things and the other has got some paints in so if I just kind of quickly go through this I've got in this one I've got a couple of woodies which are these chunky pencils water soluble um, I've got a Posca marker uh, you can have you know as many obviously or as few as you like of these they're like an acrylic paint in a in a marker form 
and then I've got a couple of ink tense pencils so I've got deep indigo is one of my colors and then a couple of other colors and I really like these creamy rich uh, watercolor pencils and then I've got some uh, graphite stick and a pencil so oh and the other thing is an art graft um, just in a dark color I've got black there but I've also got a sepia one uh, and then in this pouch I've got some spray water in case I need it for um, mixing and you know sort of moving the paint around and mostly in here apart from the the, the print stick which is for for if I use collage I've just got a few uh, of the gouache paints uh, these are gouache paints uh, I've these are just uh, cheap ones you can get better ones at these just uh, gouache paints and I've got a couple of acrylics and I don't necessarily use that much paint mostly I use white and mostly I do editing when I get back uh, to the studio or to wherever I am you know inside uh, so that I can simplify and edit at that point so that's it and I just thought I'd share that with you as a start point so here is the pre-prepared Constantina prior to working over it so it has the papers on it and the gesso and uh, the various uh, stencils and also inks have been used on it as the start point for the work on location. Okay, so this was the uh, view that I was looking at when I started working over the Constantina. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down to what is my propped Constantina. I'm being careful not to get it too wet on the grass, so that's why I've got it on my bag and I'm hoping that you can see. So what I've got is, I, us I don't usually work um, with such a long spread, but in this case, working on this Constantina, I did. And that's because they're long uh, views, you know, panoramic views, and it just seemed more uh, in keeping with that to do, do it this way. And so usually I just work on a, a sort of a, a, what I would say is a square. So this time I've worked on you know sort of literally two squares and so there are five of these double pages uh, so each of these has 20 of these single ones so as a, um, a double so I've got four little single ones if you like in this view and there's five of them so this was that first and and I'm literally um, there was a number of things I was wanting to do I was wanting to um, employ a range of marks and to, to kind of use this to explore the marks, albeit in a less, you know, sort of literal way. So all of these different marks that you can see, the finer lines, the big loops, the chunkier loops, uh, the, the, the different, so all of those marks. And I suppose as I look across the valley, I see all of these ribbons and this sort of like the sinuous nature of these different pockets of land moving in and out and sweeping through. And so that was something as well. Um, and I'll show you at the end the whole thing, so hopefully that you can see these things. Um, but I also didn't want it to be just literal things. And so, you know, they weren't necessarily in the same places as they've placed them. Um, the colours aren't necessarily the same, but I want to get an overall feel. Um, and that pink is obviously just one big block, whereas in reality, I mean, the pink is the reference um, to the Rose Bay Willow herb, which is now profusely flowering. So if I move up, you'll see uh, that. So anyway, so this is the this is the first double page, double spread, and I'll show you through the others. OK, so this is the second uh, one, and uh, this is quite different to what if I put the, up the landscape now, you'll see how different it is because the sun is just coming through and it's in shadow that whole um, hill and area but when I did it it was in the evening light and it was very red and orange and hence the colours there and also uh, you get this sense of the sort of strength of the tree canopies coming down in loops and, and going uh, around the valley and that's what that reflects and also I, I do quite a lot of simplifying so I want to get more white space in I've got this sort of like almost like the skyline so I've used partly uh, paint up there to get it you know sort of clear and partly uh, gouache depending so if I then move on to the next Okay, so here is the third uh, of the double page spreads, as I'm calling it, with the four panels. 
and this one reflects what is called slate pit moor at the top there and if you can see uh, this is actually a news uh, paper print and I've actually put this on on location and then I've used my um, trusty um, graph um, the the, the um, art art graft up there um, and you know obviously worked with then some of the existing collage and hidden and revealed as, as the case may be um, and scraped through to get the different marks that reflect this sort of mass of grasses um, on the on the, on the bank. So hopefully you can you can sort of s s see that it's kind of hard pointing and moving the concertina without it all unraveling. So hopefully it's not too skewy. <laughs> okay, so this is the fourth view that I was really keen um, on. Um, capturing albeit you know less representationally um in my constantina and i'm so interested in the way there's this sort of whole bank sort of sweeps down and this is all rhododendron cover and other mixed natives in the uk but at certain points in time that is a wonderful pink um, as the rhododendrons are in flower and this path here is the path that goes down into the valley if you can see so I'm going to just put the camera now just onto my sketchbook and this was the way that I started to represent that and um, I worked over with inks here so these big loops are the uh, are a sort of a, a Liquitex ink actually that I added I didn't show you that but I've added that subsequently I had some of these loops in and then I hadn't got the ink with me and I decided to put that on afterwards so just so that you know that that's sometimes what I do to try and get um, you know to make it more interesting less representational to get a balance to sort of get some drama in and I'm working over what was I didn't add extra collage on this page it was already there so this uh, as you can see is my writing in some papers that were already on the Constantina book um, and then I've worked over and I've put these you know these fence posts going into the distance are a thing really so that's kind of gives you that sort of depth in it and then I've kind of put a gouache yellow gouache and white gouache over quite a bit of it to sort of simplify because I, I want to be able to you know understand this uh, what I'm seeing a little bit better rather than having it completely a, a muddle and this here could well be that you know that pathway in um, it's not, you know, obviously it's not literal, I've not tried to literally represent it, but you get that feeling of the swooping down and of the banks, and that's what I'm trying to get, that sort of sinuous nature. So this was the view I was looking at for the last double page spread. So you've got that wonderful farm building up there, and if I, I was kneeling down, but if, you, if I stand up you can see a little bit more of it. And then if we move around, this is the entrance way into uh, the site, into the valley. And I was really keen to capture, capture both of those two elements. So this is the um, outcome. And I actually played around with this uh, building a lot. I got very interested in it. And on the other page, I started it in a very small way. And then I sort of superimposed and started getting interested in certain lines of that building and then I got fascinated by the window which I then did really huge so you kind of have got this kind of amalgamation of different elements of that building all kind of working together and you still get the impression of it and then um, I've I've actually worked in to the paper and and added darks and the drama of this entrance way which I wanted to kind of swoop in from this side because I kind of wanted it to end at the start point really so this whole booklet represents a 360 degree view so hopefully that makes some sense and you can see here where I've added um, the big chunky leaves with the base of the nettles and things well that's what they're supposed to represent and I'm working over quite complicated papers here added some more ink in there and these sort of like these whirly lines which I really love to use actually because they are so reminiscent for me of the tangle of planting and mixture that exists uh, in, in, in this location so uh, that's the, the last last page so hopefully uh, you can see what I'm referencing in this uh, work. 
So I hope you found that sort of walk through the, the Constantina sketchbook helpful. And thanks very much for watching. And please do like and subscribe if you're not already. And in the details of this video, I'll put the links to the uh, Edgelands uh, work that I did, where I show the, the how I pre-prepare the sketchbook and then the results. But I just thought it was worth showing you here the finished uh, book and, and referencing uh, the surrounding landscape so that you can kind of see how I've done it. And uh, I'll catch you next time. So thanks a lot. Bye bye.